Hi besties, what's up? My name is Mackenzie and welcome to my channel and welcome to the start of a weekly reading vlog. Um, just a little spoiler alert, you're going to see me looking just like this um, in the outro. I believe I did not film any sort of anything for the intro to this video, so I just wanted to welcome y'all to the vlog, say hello, say I'm happy to see you again. It has been a while since I filmed a vlog and posted it. Um, I'm not going to lie. I haven't edited the vlog, so I don't know how much substance there will be, but, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm sorry. Hopefully it's a shorter one for the besties who like shorter vlogs, because, yeah, I like, I like long vlogs, I'm long-winded, but hopefully this isn't too long, like my Vampathon vlog that was like an hour long, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and without further ado, let's get into... Mackenzie of the past, who actually, now that I think about it, I believe she's very distressed in the first clip, so. Good luck, and I will see you guys when I see ya. Doing great. The, the the hormones. I'm pretty sure I qu cry at least twice a day. The things that don't require crying, but it's fun. Oh my gosh. You know, it's also fun looking like I have no eyebrows. I do love that. How is this making me cry? Oh gosh. Okay. I don't even think I've opened the vlog, but I thought I thought you guys would want to see that. At least I have my Diablo here with me. See, look. He's just sleeping. Unbeknownst to him. What's going on? But... And Stephen's doing his homework. Ignore my hair. Um, I'm, I'm going to go get in the shower after this update. But, um, as you guys saw earlier, I was reading Crumbs by Danny Sterling, and I actually managed to finish it. Um, it was getting tedious <laughs> holding this copy. I read, like, a good majority of it physically, but, um, Diablo was laying on me, and I was like, I can't keep holding this book, so I actually, it's on Webtoon, if you're interested, if you want to read it for free. Um, <sighs> this was so cute, and, um, goodness, that, that was weird. It was so good. So, I know I've never pitched this on my channel before, because I honestly don't even remember when I started reading it, but, Crumbs it by Dan... <clears throat> good grief I don't know where my voice is gone like I have a UTI I don't need any throat infections or anything I've been feeling like crap too so like um please forgive me and please forgive this vlog for not being very exciting <laughs> um I honestly don't even know where the beginning clips of this vlog are I think I think they're probably in the SD card that's attached to my computer I'm just like a wreck when it comes to SD cards. Also, make sure to drink your water, girly pops. I really need to chug this after I get done with this. And I need a shower. I'm gonna go wash my hair. I'm gonna try to get some of this color out. I'm just so... Okay, sorry. I promise we'll get back to crumbs. Um, just the first world problems. I hate, like, you guys, this is not a receding hairline. I have hair. I have hair right here. You just can't see it. And I hate when I wear my hair up that I look like I, I don't know, because I'm so blonde and no one can tell, so I just look kind of bald. Which, like, honestly, is fine because I remember the first time I wore my hair up in first grade and my best friend that lived right behind me was like Mackenzie why did you shave all your hair off yep that was in first grade I remember that is like one of the few core memories I have in first grade so I'm gonna shower I'm gonna see if I can like take some of this out I bought some dandruff shampoo and clarifying shampoo I'm gonna start washing my hair with clarifying shampoo on the daily and I'm probably gonna kill my my this my ends but ever since I've been pregnant I don't think my hair has grown I really don't like 
I'm pretty sure it's been this length since I, since I got pregnant, so that's fun. But anyways, let's get back to the more important task. Not my hair. It doesn't, my, my hair doesn't matter. <laughs> let's talk about Crumbs by Dan Danny Sterling. So if you don't know, this book follows Ray and Laurie, and uh, I love them. But basically, Laurie works for his aunt in a bakery, and that's where he meets Ray. And he starts developing feelings because she's very sure of herself. She's very sure of what she wants, and she's very confident in what she wants. And so they, they strike up, like, it's not really a friends to lovers, but kind of. They start striking up. Um, this relationship and Laurie is a struggling musician in this book. He's been trying to get in bands for a while and no one His sound isn't really what they're looking for and then Ray um, Is like basically in this magical council or she's trying to be she's trying to get into it um, at the beginning of this book and it is so good. You guys, like, you guys saw me cry, okay? Um, I, like, this is some raw stuff. Like, I, um, it wasn't at the part that I would think I would cry at, actually. Like, I thought, yeah. I, I can't tell you guys, because it's spoilers, but, like, I don't know, dude. I have to cry at at least one thing that, like, I probably don't need to cry about every day like and it's usually like stupid tiktok videos or youtube videos um it was a really like heartwarming like meaningful conversation that happened in here that made me cry so yeah um but i love them i really love laurie he is so freaking cute like i just i love him and i love him and ray together i think like it's so great they're just so cute um, that's a sad, that's how long it's been. Like, look at this man. You can't tell me he's not so freaking cute. Obviously there were other panels, but I am scared to, um, spoil you guys. I just love it. I love this. And yeah, I just, I love this. I rated it 4.5 stars. It, it was really good. Four stars on Goodreads. Now we get to the task of figuring out what book I want to read next because I, dude, this reading slump from hell is really putting me through it because I'm looking at all my books and I'm thinking, do I even like to read? Do I even know what reading is? Did, I'm having this, like, crisis after I finished a book this morning after I read like over half of this this morning I'm pretty sure I was like halfway through this this morning so I literally read so much I read probably almost 200 pages of this today so like why am I having a mental breakdown a crisis just why <laughs> because I know I love to read and like it's my biggest hobby and like for years I mean I'm just gonna be like candid with you the reason I have so many books and stuff is because that's all I ask for like I think about books all the time that's all I think about ever so it's so hard when my like honestly my number one hobby that I'm passionate about is like is difficult I like I don't know how many of y'all were around for last year I don't know even if I like I don't know how much I vlogged last year anyways, but like there were two months last year that I read 30 books. Where's that Mackenzie? Where is she? I miss her. Like, and this was, well, I had a freaking full-time job. Like it wasn't even when I was like in the midst of not, not having a job or like ha having my full-time job be cut to part-time. This was during my full-time work era. Then I was managing to fit 30 books into a month. Granted, obviously it was a mix of novels and other formats and stuff, which I think is a great way to break up your reading. And maybe that's the problem, is I just haven't found a novel to like really sink my teeth into for a while, because I've literally read 
in all the vlogs that you've seen of me, I've literally only read manga and graphic novels, which, you know what? Different. There are different interests for everybody, so it's not that big of a deal to me, but. I just. I don't like feeling like I'm losing one of my hobbies. Let's talk about what books have been jiggling around in my brain. Um, because, yeah. So, this is the third book. I wanted to do a whole reread of the Marinette series by Katie Wismer before I got into the fourth and final book, which I didn't even show you guys when I got it, and I have some other book mail. Once I want one. I do want to show you this, because it's, it's so fun. So this is Ruthless Ends. This is the last book in the Marionette series. Um, I love the Marionettes. I do. I really should have grabbed Wicked Souls while I was over there, too. It's fun. Um, but I love the series. I've been following it since it came out. Um, and I love everything that Katie has written. Since I'm, like, I'm into so many genres, I like to read all of her stuff, which is great. Um, she came out with a romantic suspense this year. It was called uh, Broken Perfect Lies. I loved that one. It, it's like a spicy, dark Hannah Montana retelling. I just, I loved it. And then obviously her Pact books. You have the Anti-Virginity Pact. That was her first book. I did really like that one. I thought the plot was a little busy, but you know. Um, and I think that's mostly just because it was a contemporary book. And then the Anti-Relationship Year. Definitely love that one too. But, anyways, so I've read all of her stuff. This is the only book from her I haven't read, and it's her newest release, so it's fine. I did get an early ebook copy. Um, she did a Kickstarter for this book, and um, I'll show you all the goodies that are like, tucked in there. But um, this is the only way that you could get signed and personalized stuff. And I had her write her favorite quote. I did this in. I don't remember if it was, it must have been Wicked Souls, because I don't think I told her to write anything in, that's not the right book. Okay, I, I don't know where I just put Bloodless Ties, but I did, um, oh, there it is. I can't remember, did I have her, I think I just, oh no, see. Um, so it must be in Wicked Souls, which is great, because Wicked Souls is my favorite, like I've said five million times, but, um. Oh, I'm scared for this book. I'm really scared for this book. Like, I... I... <sighs> the third book changed a lot of my opinions on a certain character. And, like, it changed my whole brain chemistry. Um, like, I can't, I can't tell you guys why, but, like, there's something that I desperately want to happen that I know is not going to happen. So, I got these two envelopes. They basically have the same thing in them. Um... Poor Katie, she was actually going to have... Oh, I also have, like, the special, like, the hardcover with the bonus stuff in the back. She was also going to have, like, an art print um, with Valerie and the two people in the love triangle. And I really wish we would have gotten that art. I hope the artist is okay, though. But anyways, so this first envelope with no sticky. <clears throat> there is a tarot card... There is a thank you card. This really pretty snake bookmark. And it says, I am the villain of the story. And then we have our main three girlies. We have um, Val is in the middle. Monroe is on, this is Monroe and this is Kirby. Love them so much. I love the friend group in this. Um, book series. We haven't really gotten a lot of it because they haven't been together. They weren't, um, they weren't really together in Bloodless Ties. And then we have this very pretty character art of Reed and Val. And then in the other one, the one with the sticker, and like, the, this is such a fancy, like, it's, it's just so fancy. Anyways, okay. So, oh, oh, there, there weren't any stickers in that one. There were stickers in this one, though, so. So, obviously, another, like, little, it's a thank you card, and then I have a business card with, like, 
the four books in the series and then all of Katie's handles if you're interested. And then she also threw in some stickers. So there's that one. Oops. This one. This one. <laughs> this one. And this one. I feel like I'm just misremembering everything because I guess I thought that I got stickers in the other one too, but I must not have. Just ignore me. I don't even know. Anyways, and then I got another tarot card. I got this one. I don't know what that means, but it's very pretty. I really like it. Um, and then I got the same bookmark, same backing, and then I got the same two um, character arts. They are just, um, instead of on matte paper, they are on shiny paper, which is great. I could always use, like, all of the character art for the series. I, I do, I do them. Oh, wait. I knew I wasn't, I knew, I knew that there were stickers in the other one. Okay, I'm sorry. So we have this sticker, this sticker, this sticker, uh, that sticker again. Oh, that's funny. Okay, and then there is a, a sticker with a quote. It says, never could I breathe love if I did not first learn to inhale a little bit of chaos. And that's by Christopher... Queen Dexter. That's what that one looks like. And then this sticker says thick thighs and bookish vibes. And I really like that. So yeah. Um again, like it's, it's obviously not Katie's fault. It's nobody's fault. I really wish we could have seen the character art with her and reading. I really do. But that's okay. So any hoozle. I also wonder, like, I don't think that Katie will pull a full 180 on me with who the main character ends up with because, like, there's, like, there's a, there's a plot that has started happening. I've, I've already read 50 pages of this book. I just need to go back and annotate it, but there's something that, like, is interesting that's happening. I, I probably shouldn't say what it is, but anyways, I'm going to go ponder what I might read next. Um, the other thing that I have been thinking about nonstop is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. Now that is like a 600 page book, probably more, honestly. And I have not been able to stop thinking about that book since the other day when I watched a video and someone brought it up and I was like, I have that book. I want to read that book. Like I don't have enough 600 page books on my TBR this month, but yeah, I don't know. Much to consider, much to ponder. I will let you guys know when I decide. Um, oh, I also have some other book mail. It's, um, the books are taking a nap. These are taking it up. Okay, so. Okay, I'm, I'm so happy about this, so. Okay. So, first I have the Holiday Exclusive Edition of Fourth Wing with the black sprayed edges. I love it. It's gorgeous. Um, I love the red. Um, plain front cover, and then obviously spine, everything. Um, I wasn't expecting there to be, but there's no R on the reverse dust jacket, in case anybody was wondering. And we have this, which is the end paper. Everything looks the same in here. I better be careful flipping. Oh, there is bonus content, and I probably shouldn't look at that either. And then um, we have the same end pages on the back. I can learn how to work books. And then obviously we just have the back. I love the red. I love the red. I think I like it a lot more than like the gold. Um, now that I have this copy of Fourth Wing, I think I will try eventually to get the Blue Lee Boo. Say that five times fast. Dust jacket for Fourth Wing. The I want the tan one. Um, obviously, they're a small business and I think they're run from the house. So yeah, I I hope they come back in stock with it later. 
sometime soon. I'd love that. And then we also have my pre-order iron flame. So actually <laughs> when I got the notification that it was being delivered, it got delivered yesterday, I believe. Um, it looked like the edges weren't sprayed. They were, um, I'm very happy with that. And then like, I just, I love the sprayed edges. They aren't as cool as the dragon ones from the original release, but that's okay. So we have a map right there. And then we have Then we have like stuff from Rebecca Yaros. I need to check out her other books maybe. I literally haven't even finished Fourth Wing. But I got too excited. I got too excited. I'm 10 pages into Fourth Wing, in case you were wondering. I have a sickness. And then obviously another map. I I know I'm gonna love Fourth Wing. I think I'm gonna like I don't I'm sure I've talked to you guys about this, um, but I'm like so I'm reading Fourth Wing, obviously only 10 pages in, nothing to really write home about. Like, I really like it so far though, but, um, also I'm reading Divine Rivals and I have literally never felt this way about, like, a book that I can think of for a long time. So I'm 50 pages in and I'm like, okay, that's enough of that book. Um, <clears throat> in the most nice, respectful way possible because I love it and this is the first time that I have ever been this disappointed that I can only read a book for the first time once. I have never once, like, I don't know if that's just because I'm a big rereader and I think a lot of people who are like sad that they can't read the book again for the first time are like people who don't reread. But I feel like everything in said book is literally going to be engraved in my brain chemistry forever. I love Divine Rivals so much. I really do. And the fact that I'm only 50 pages into it gives me mad anxiety because uh, I know that Ruthless ends. Well, wait. Hello. Ruthless Vows. Sorry. Too many Ruthless books around here. Um, I know that Ruthless Vows comes out either, I think it might be this month or the end of next month in December sometime. But I'm not going to get my copy of it until like March, I think, when the UK hardcover comes out. Um, oh, I'm scared. I don't like it. I don't like feeling this way about a book. Um, because like, obviously, like I'm a huge rereader. Like, I love to reread. I love being back with my favorite characters. And I'm really glad that I'm someone who likes to reread because a lot of people don't get my obsession with rereading. Like... A lot of people in my family are like, Mackenzie, you've already read the book. You know how it ends. And I'm like, besties, I read fantasy. <laughs> like, I can, like, like, okay, let's just pull this beauty off of my little shelf right here. Um, I have literally read A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is either my fourth or fifth time, I think. I love this book so much. And, like, not that I notice something different about it every time, but, like, the fact that I get to read this book over and over again as much as I want just gives me an insurmountable amount of joy for no reason really but like the fact that there are people who don't like to reread just makes me so sad and like obviously it's fine like everybody has their has their things that they like to do and not to do um I just can't imagine like or like another like <laughs> Literally two more that are sitting right in front of me. Um, I just started a reread of Zodiac Academy. I was going to do a vlog. I don't think that's happening. And then I am also rereading The Chase so I can annotate it. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when I get back to that one. But, like, I just, like, like, not only are my books, like, kind of, like, trophies, like, my trophy wives of sorts, um, they literally bring me so much joy. And... The fact that I get to reread them over and over again is just so beautiful to me. I really like it, so yeah. Um, if you guys would be interested in a Zodiac Academy vlog, let me know. Um, it's not going to happen this year. I'm just going to say that right now. It's not going to happen this year unless I can pull my head out and I can actually learn how to like to read. <laughs> no, no, it's not that I don't. I forgot that I like to read, but like 
I just need to get back into my reading mojo. And if I can do that, I hope I can. But, yeah. I really liked The Awakening. By the way, I... Oh, I'm scared for the second and third books, though. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to go take a shower. I will update you guys if I decide what I want to read. I kind of just jump back into Akatar. I'm doing, like, a whole Akatar vlog and stuff. Um... And obviously, I'm like annotating it with my pretty tabs. <sighs> I love this book so much. This and Throne of Glass, like, I don't know why I have such an attachment to both of those. Because arguably, like, you could argue with me that Throne of Glass is the worst book in that series. And it's not even my favorite book in the series, but I just have so much love for especially Throne of Glass. And then, obviously, no one thinks this is the best book in the series. Probably, like, um... It's probably, like, the second to least favorite book. Uh, the least favorite book being, uh, <laughs> uh, Frost and Starlight, I feel like. But I just love being introduced to Printhian over and over and over again like that I will never get tired of that and like seeing where Faber started to where she like ends up I've never read Silver Flame so don't tell me that but like it's just like it's so just satisfying and I love seeing Faber at the beginning and I especially really love like the plot of this book the Beauty and the Beast imagine reimagining um I just can't imagine not being a reread girly like that one made me really sad. <sighs> I am looking a mess today. It's fine. Happy Thursday. One more day of work and then I'll be off for the weekend. And honestly, <laughs> the only reason I'm still going right now. <laughs> so, um, I haven't decided what I'm going to read yet. Like, I know it's been like over 24 hours at this point it's fine I will pick up something to read though because I've decided that my low-key goal this month even if I don't finish that many books is to at least read a little bit of a book every day you know it, it won't hurt anybody but um so I did something silly I did I did silly goofy um so we've talked about the series we know her we know that I love her. Um, I haven't obviously read this book yet, but Katie did a Kickstarter for signed pre-orders of Ruthless Ends, and she did like sets of the books too, where you could get um, where you could get like certain add-ons, and one of them was like you could get a full set of the books and get sprayed edges, um, the hardcovers, and so. Um, I couldn't justify it because I already had all the hardcovers and stuff and that and it was just really expensive. I, I couldn't afford it. Probably still can't afford it to be honest, but uh, I saw the prettiest set and I just I had to do it. So I, I, I ordered it. Yeah. Um, not my brightest idea. Hi, Steven. I know you're watching this. I'm sorry. This is my formal apology to you. For spending all of our money but to be fair we did have a little bit of extra money that just came in so and I was very responsible I paid all my bills so um in other news oh I do want to th there's a reason that this hand is done and this isn't um I need to find my nail polish remover there was no nail polish on this hand because I picked it all off but I have also since cut off all my nails, so I can't really scrape off the rest of this stuff, so there's still some on, really, there's only some on one of my fingers. I might just try to peel that off. Anyways, in other news, I had something really fun happen to me this morning on my way to work. It was my 13th reason this morning. So, mind you, I had already, like, done this previously. I went to go start my car, and everything was fine. I go to walk outside, like, down my steps, and, um, the bottom step has been kind of, like, iffy since we moved here. We already knew, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, 
we had just never gotten around to like putting extra screws in it. And this morning I'm walking down the steps. Mind you, it's pretty like, it's pretty wet where I live right now. Like I'm sure the water soaked into the steps. Um, and I was, I was being really careful because I always am on those steps. Not only because I am just hella clumsy. I figured it would be me that, that would take the literal fall from grace on that bottom step. And unfortunately for me, the second time I went down it, um, it was slick. And I didn't notice that the first time. And so I kind of slipped back and then the whole, the whole stair, bro, I ripped that sh off. Um, I ripped the bottom stair off of this actual, like, there, it's a set of four stairs. So I ripped the fourth, or the first stair, I guess, depending, the bottom stair, right off. Like, <laughs> and I fell. I fell forward. I fell on my knee. Um, luckily, my hip doesn't hurt anymore because my hip and back hurt after that. And I'm like, wonderful. And I literally just sat there in shock. Yeah. Um, so go me. That was... That was just a great experience this morning to have before I went to a place that I didn't really want to go to today. Um, my knee still hurts. That I fell on my right knee. Um, so that took the brunt of my fall, which is why my, like, right below my hip, actually, it just hurt. And, uh, it is, like, not to be dramatic, but, like, almost everything that, like, no, I shouldn't say that. A lot of things in my life, I shouldn't say that either. <sighs> a lot of things that would inconvenience me happened this week, you know? I got called in to work on one of my days off, which isn't a big deal. I need the money. So it's not like a huge deal. Just like, schedule me. Put me on the schedule if you want me there. Like, I don't, I can't just drop everything to come to work. I do but yeah so I got called in on my day off fell down the stairs I have a UTI um they're they're really common during pregnancy so I don't yeah I'm not 100% sure what caused it but I knew it was bound to happen and my bladder's just been weird ever since you know I've been pregnant not that you guys needed to know that but it's been like a year since I've had one, so it was bound to happen eventually. But, uh, it felt like crap. The medicine I'm taking makes me feel like trash. I'm not even certain that it's working, but actually, okay, I think it is. I think I'm just being a little baby because my baby's favorite area to kick is my bladder. So, you can imagine how bad it hurts not only having a UTI and having the cramps from that, but like having your baby kick the thing that hurts the most. So I've been sleeping with a heat pad on every night and I wake up and I'll turn it back on because I just hurt. Um, I just can't even tell if I'm getting better. And usually by this point I have two more doses left, I think, because I started it, I took... A full dose yesterday I took a partial dose the night before because I started it that night so I started it Tuesday night and then I took two doses on Wednesday I'm gonna take two doses tonight and then one more so yeah it just has not been my lucky week this week like I would say it let's restart it but like honestly no thank you um, so yeah, but anyways, I am going to stop rambling and go get my food out of the oven because there's literally like, yeah, 30 seconds. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully I'll have found a book to read. I don't know. We'll see. Hello. Long time no see. It's literally been my, like, maybe three minutes <laughs> since we last spoke. I went and took the chicken out of the oven and now the french fries are cooking, so that's gonna be great. Uh, in about 20 minutes, I will be eating food. <laughs> but um, as I was pondering, what do I read? Because 
I don't know, I don't know if I've mentioned it in this vlog yet, but I cannot stop thinking about Chain of Gold. That is the only thing that's going on in my head. You, you want to read my brain? My, you want to read my mind? Is what I meant. Send help. Um, Chain of Gold. That is what's going on up there. But I said to myself, Mackenzie, your TBR is probably literally in the 3,000 page range. And you're going to sit here and tell me that uh, you're going to prioritize a five to 600 page book that isn't even on your TBR. I mean, it sounds about right, but we aren't going to do that just yet. I'm pretty sure I'm going to cave. But I literally picked up the Jasmine Throne. Tell me why these words are so freaking huge. So I'm downloading the audiobook. Actually, it's already downloaded, so that's good. And honestly, it's not even that long. Like, I doubt I'm going to be able to listen to it at three times speed. I might be able to. Um... Because I can actually listen to my audiobooks really quick. It's, I think it's my ADHD. Like, I, I also watch all my YouTube videos at the highest speed. In case you were curious. No one cares. But in case you were curious, I actually listen to all my audiobooks really fast. Like, I can get up to 3.5 speed and still understand what's happening. So, um, I like to call that, like, an ADHD superpower because if it's not being told to me rapidly, I get bored. I'm like, I don't know how people can listen to audiobooks at 1.5 speed. It's too slow for my brain. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if any of this is hitting home for any of you, but, um, I think I'm going to try to read this. I'm so excited. Um, this is my favorite cover, and if you guys haven't seen The Oleander Sword, which I believe is the second book, what the second book is called, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And if I love this book, I'll probably ask for the second book for Christmas. It's getting too, it's getting too close for me to keep buying shits for myself. It's, it's getting a little bit too close. Um, the only other things that are coming this year are, like, pre-orders. Like, that's gonna have to be my rule. And even then, I'm... I feel like there's a pre-order coming in between, like, now and when um, Defiant comes out. And I'm wondering if I should just cancel that and ask for that for Christmas. I haven't decided yet. I'm, I need Defiant as soon as it comes out. So don't get it twisted. We, I'm still getting Defiant, but I don't know. I just, I need to be thoughtful because I can't literally, I know it's early to be talking about Christmas, so don't hate me, but my people ask me for lists early. And I like the lists early too, so that I can start shopping before, you know. I can kind of stagger my my purchases because uh, a couple years ago, in fact, probably last year too, Stephen and I bought a lot of our Christmas presents at the same time, like for all of our families and stuff, and it was a lot. Like, do you guys hear Diablo? Oh my gosh, he just started screaming. That little traitor, he knows I'm recording. He's still outside, by the way. He's probably mad because his girlfriend isn't around. I don't know where she went, but he does have a girlfriend. <sighs> the compromising positions that Steven has seen him in. <laughs> no, literally. That, that sounds like a lie. It's, it's not a lie. But anyways. It's hard when you're an adult and you spend all your money on stuff that you want. Um, the only thing I know for sure is that I want... Um, uh, one of those simple modern water bottles. They're so cute. They're so cute. And apparently they're a lot better than Stanley's. So I'm gonna try it out. I'm curious. My little sister literally retired her Stanley for her simple modern. So I think she's going to get me one of those for Christmas because I sent her a picture of the one I wanted. I said, this is the one I want. She got mad at me. She's like, what if one of us was going to buy you one? And I'm like, let me send you the link, bestie. Like, we got this. But anyways, it's hard when you're an adult and you have all your adult money to spend. And you don't spend it wisely all the time. So you get everything that you want. Um, all the time. But, anyways. Gleander Sword. If I love this, I will ask for that for Christmas. So that, that there's two things that I want for Christmas. But anyways. I'm so sorry. 
we I've just been rambling it's okay honestly we're here for a long time like I want my blogs to be like Olivia blogs Olivia reads a latte she's my queen I love her I don't watch her as much as I used to um oh my knee is swollen do you do you guys remember the story I told you like five minutes ago my knee hurts really bad all right anyways I have talked about unimportant things for long enough just know this is the next book I'm gonna read even though I'm already currently reading too many books that is the one that is calling to me if I don't like it within the first like 50 pages and by that I mean if I'm not hooked within the first 50 pages I'll probably just put it down and wait but yeah I'm excited and I'm really excited for this weekend because I apparently have a four-day weekend I'm apparently off Saturday to Tuesday so I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done that would be nice especially with how freaking long my TBR is that I keep telling you about but I also would love to read Laura Olympus but literally all that I have been reading are manga and graphic novels and webtoon comics and there's nothing wrong with that obviously but <laughs> that's literally all I've been able to finish and I would like the satisfaction of finishing a book because I think that that will help my reading mood so yeah. I will talk to you guys when I have an update I bet this is the last time I'm gonna talk to you guys tonight because I'm sure Steven is on his way home or will be home by the time I eat my dinner so yeah I will talk to you guys in a little bit with hopefully some reading updates hopefully I won't look as battered and bruised as I feel like I do right now I feel I'm just feeling rough and yeah I will have this hand painted too okay <laughs> bye guys I'm so sorry I'm so sorry all right hi besties what's up I guess I need to find my charger because apparently my sorry for that brief intermission I had to find my charging cable and then how to charge my camera so we're doing great um it is Monday I don't know when the last time I updated you was but um I started a couple things since I think we last spoke which I guess it has been a while I think so I apologize for that but um let's get into it so first I wanted to like update you guys on some of my reading plans so Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion I'm putting that off until next year um first and foremost because I found out I believe that it's gonna be a four book series and book three doesn't even come out until 2025 so I'm gonna kind of hold off on that and just wait um so I can reread the first book and then read the second book as well and then um like in time for the fourth book if that makes sense so we're gonna do that and then I also started um Evershore by Brandon Sanderson the third novella in Skyward series I am 21% of the way through like 52 pages in um <clears throat> it's fine so far I don't I there's no point in them to be honest like I know that we're getting important information but I think that we could have put it in the other books to be honest um I'm just ready to be back with Spencer I miss her I obviously haven't read a new <clears throat> book with Spencer as the main character since um Cytonic came out and unfortunately Cytonic was not my favorite so that's a bummer but I am very excited to see where Defiant goes obviously I still need to finish um ever sure so we're gonna keep going with that because it, it's not that bad necessarily it's just I feel like we could have put all this information into one of the other books so or like put it at the back of the books I don't know like it just feels weird I would say it's cash grabby but I would think it was more cash grabby if he was selling all the novellas separately and not like as a bind up um you can buy them as bind up now in case you guys didn't know so I would definitely recommend doing that um but I want all the information that I need before I go into Defiant so there's that not the best not the worst and then I also started the Jasmine Throne. This is some 
something I feel like I could have updated you on, but I don't remember. So, I'm in between chapter 7 and 8. I did not get a chance to finish chapter 7, where I went to work the other day. It's a pretty long chapter, and I am listening to it in the audiobooks. So, I'm really liking the audiobooks. So far, this book follows a princess who's basically enslaved by her brother, um, and then a princess who basically had to give up her birthright. And... That's basically all I know about this so far. I really like it, though. I really love Tasha Suri's writing and the character so far. I think this is going to be a really good book. So I'm excited for this. And I don't know. That's about it right now. For Oh, and I read one chapter of Pest Pestilence by Laura Thalassa the other day. And I am actually really enjoying that, surprisingly. I didn't think I would, but I am liking it. So I will continue on with that. That just might be a slower read because... I don't know that I'm really ready to, like, I don't know if I'll be ready to continue on with the series after I finish book one, so we'll just see, but I am liking everything I'm reading right now. It's been great. Um, so I'm actually gonna go now. I'm gonna watch Katie's new vlog. She's reading, like, A Curse for True Love and, um, Iron Flame in it, and I'm very excited to watch that, so I'm gonna go watch that, and then I guess I'll see if I have time for any reading before I go to bed, but yeah, I'm very excited about that. It has been a long day today. It's been a long weekend, honestly. Like, we spent about seven hours in the car on Saturday, and we didn't get home until like midnight, so as you can imagine, I was completely exhausted. I slept in really late that next day, and we kind of just rested all of Sunday until like nighttime, because my parents got back from their trip on Sunday so we went over and saw them for a few hours and then today we had a funeral so yeah it's just been kind of like one thing after another oh, every single day off that I have we don't we don't like I don't get a break so hopefully like hopefully I don't get called in to go to work tomorrow because I don't want to <clears throat> I'm also getting like a chest cold too so that's great I had a head cold and now I have a chest cold and I can't take anything for it. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's all I have to update you guys on. I'm sorry that this vlog has been like lackluster. I feel like I haven't had much say to say or much going on in this vlog. So I apologize for that. But hopefully we can maybe turn it around tomorrow. Get some more clips tomorrow before I end the vlog. Because I do want this to go up on Thursday. I meant to film like an end of the year book tag video today and that just never happened. Um, we got home and relaxed from the funeral and then we ordered pizza, watched Shrek 2, which was great. I love that movie, one of my favorites. And then I obviously took a shower, which is why my hair is wet. And then I've just been laying in bed <laughs> and Steven is playing uh, fantasy football or whatever his football game is called. So. We just had a relaxing night, thank goodness. But, yeah. So, I'm gonna go. And I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow. I probably won't talk to you until tomorrow, so. need to be just a little bit higher. Let's see here. Ugh. Maybe Zodiac Academy will do the trick. Look at that. I guess I could have just like backed my camera up a little bit, but that's fine. Alrighty. Hello friends. Um, <laughs> We are here to do a final update for the vlog and honestly I'm kind of worried about putting this vlog together. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, but we're gonna figure it out. Um, as soon as I get done filming this outro, I'm going to go edit it and we're going to see. So, to be blunt with you guys, I it, this just has not been my week for reading, which is fine. I was, like, pretty busy last week. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm still hoping. So, within the next week-ish, um, it's, it's Wednesday today. Or, it's Thursday today. I mean, it's Thursday. So, um, the whole work week that I have ahead of me, I only have 11 hours. So I think 
I can get my head out and actually start like reading, I will be able to read a lot of things. Um, I do plan on reading a lot next week. Hopefully finishing a lot. Maybe I should say finishing a lot because I'm already reading too much as it is. But I do have a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about. First, let's do the unboxing and then we'll kind of do like a little wrap up and talk about some of the books that you guys are probably going to see next week in next week's video. So this is a very exciting package. Um, so to be honest, um, this is something I wanted to do. I just didn't have the money to do it when the Kickstarter was happening. Um, it was just a little bit too expensive for what I could feasibly like justify. Um, however, these books were in the graveyard section of the shop and they were super cheap. Like compared to what they were, they were like, I'm going to go ahead and say $60 off. I don't know if that's accurate. I can't remember, but I'm going to say that they were $60 cheaper than they would have been. So I pulled the plug because these are super pretty. Um, so um, I'm also opening this upside down. Oh my gosh, she's still... Oh, well, it's a good thing I opened it upside down. So, we have this. Um, I am going... This is character art. I've already showed you guys the character art and stuff for this series, I think. But, um, if I haven't, I apologize. But I think I'm going to just leave these in here. Because I have another hard side of this series. And I'm going to get rid of that one. Because they aren't signed and personalized. They aren't, like, really special or anything. And I don't need three copies of this series as of right now. Like, especially where the hardcovers are exactly the same. Just one isn't signed and one doesn't have the special edition edges. So, have the little wormies and then we have all the books. And I think, oh, I want to actually pull them out and show you guys. Ooh, okay, these look so beautiful. I am so, so excited. So, I guess this will tie in nicely to what I was one of the books I was going to tell you guys about. So, oh, hello, white balance, thank you. All right, it's empty now. Hopefully I didn't just flash my address. If I did, I guess you guys will never know because I'll cut it out. Also, if I sound sick, it's because literally every time I get on camera and say, I'm feeling so much better, I get sick again. Like, I just have a chest cold and it's like more annoying than anything and like my throat is starting to like close up on me. I thought I was going to lose my voice at work today. So that's fun. Um, I bet you guys can guess what I'm going to do this coming weekend. It consists of hydrating and hydrating and hydrating and sleeping, but hydrating. So let us, let's look at these. And like, oh, these are like all sparkly. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay. So these are, this is the wrapping paper. It's so cute. So first we have, I'm going to try to rip this as nicely as I can because I actually kind of want to use this in my bullet journal. I don't know if that'll actually happen, but you know, it doesn't hurt to try. So we have, oh man, I say that and then I just rip into the whole thing. Okay. That was just a piece of tape in there. That's fine. So marionettes i'm gonna i'm gonna show you why i ordered these ones by the way okay well i was gonna try to be careful but it's like christmas so i'm just gonna rip them open it's fine it's fine we have wicked souls my personal favorite as of right now <clears throat> bloodless ties which is also like a really like i really like it i think that's like an unpopular opinion in the series that a lot of people don't like it because it's like slower and it introduces a new part of the world um, without giving too much away. And I think people just don't like that for some reason, but I do like it, so. And um, you're on my channel, so my opinions do matter. <laughs> Obviously, well, I hope you guys come here because you like my personality, but... I would argue that if you're watching my channel, you think you have, you give me some weight, opinion-wise. And then we have the last one, Ruthless Ends. So, if you guys don't know, 
Katie did a Kickstarter for Ruthless Ends in Specifics. So the whole Kickstarter was basically if you want to sign in personalized copy of the fourth book, you would have to do it through the Kickstarter, which is what I did. And then she gives you like a little swag package full of like character art. There's a bookmark. There's, um, I think there's like a card that has like the whole series on it. Um, like I said, I'm probably, actually, I might, no, no, I'll just, I'll, I'm going to put this card in with like the other hardcovers when I get rid of them. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll like pack up. A box of books and I'll show you guys in next week's video I'll probably do an unhaul too um, but I'll, I'll show you guys that and yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go donate it to like a free little library or something um honestly it would be nice to sell them on pango but I, I don't know that I will get you know very many buyers and thing is it's really hard to sell stuff on pango like it's it takes a while sometimes, just depending on, like, you know. But anyways, so, here are the spines. But, why I got them. Look at it. This is really cool. You know what? It looks a lot better on camera. Like, not saying it looks bad, but, you know. I, you know, actually, I think it looks super cool. I was just really harsh on it, because I... Uh, yeah, I, I just didn't see the whole thing all together, but this is how I'm going to display them. And I'm very excited. This looks so pretty. I love this. Um, I'm almost half tempted to actually annotate these ones and have, like, my dark tabs against these. I think that looks super cool, but um, I think these are also signed. Yeah, yeah, so these are signed as well, all of them. I won't show you all of them, but um, that's, like, the main reason that I got them is because she was doing, like, sprayed edges and... Obviously, at the time, I could not afford them, and this time, I did kind of a sneaky little thing, and I did, like, a pay for so that's not going to be that bad, um, especially over a two-month period. It's fine. Like, I'm very excited about these, though. Like, I, it, it's going to be a good addition to my collection, and I'm just going to get rid of the regular hardbacks because everything is the same in them, so I'm going to do that, but I'm, ex I'm excited about this. Now... Let's get into all the books that I'm carrying over with me into next week because it's it's a lot, besties. It's it's just too many. Ugh. Make sure to hydrate because holy crap. Hopefully your voice doesn't sound like mine, but if it does, you need it. So, um, oh please tell me that's not. Oh shit. Okay, I probably need to find a different place for this. My lint roller that I do, in fact, need by my bed because my cat is hairy. Okay, so, um, I don't know if I told you, but I actually have the Ruthless Ends paperback. Um, this one is signed and personalized to me, and I have been, um, just going through my ebook copy because I think I read the first, I read up to page 43 and stopped in the middle of a chapter because I'm chaotic like that, but I'm just going back through and adding all my annotations and I, I stopped reading it because I wanted to add in my annotations so there's that so we have this one I also started shark heart I don't remember who it's by but I've been hearing like really good things about it and I wanted to give it a try for myself so I am liking it so far I'm not loving it though like I am really liking it though just like I thought that as soon as I started it I'd be like automatically in love and yeah that's just not the, um, that's not how I'm feeling about it right now, but you know what, I'm sure that'll change. I'm not that far into it, actually. That is a lot further in, but I'm only 30, uh, 30 minutes into the audiobook, I think, so. And then, um, I think I already told you guys I started the Jasmine Throne. I'm in between seven. Uh, I like how there's an envelope as my bookmark. I'm in between chapter 7 and 8. I'd like to continue on with this next week as well. I really like it so far. just haven't made it a priority. Then I read a chapter of Pestilence, Pestilence, whatever, however you say that word, um, by Laura Thalassa. Really liking that one. Just haven't made time, obviously, to read that one. Um, I don't think it was in this vlog, but I started The Night Circus a couple weeks ago. I've only read the prologue, but I'm in love with it, so... Hopefully, I can prioritize that. Um, it's kind of like, okay, 
So I'm also reading... I was going to do a vlog with Fourth Wing and um, Divine Rivals. And this is how I feel about Divine Rivals. Like, <laughs> I read 50 pages of Divine Rivals and I'm like, okay, that's enough. I never want to read it again because um, I don't get that attached. Like, I'm not as sentimental about reading books for the first time because I know if they're a favorite of all time, I'll reread them multiple times. Like, it's not a big deal to me. But... Um, it is really hitting me. Maybe I'm just more sentimental in my older age, <laughs> but, um, Divine Rivals, it really hit me. Like, this is the first time, this is the only time that I am really sad that this is the first time I can ever read a book. Like, yeah, I just had a whole midlife crisis, and I feel that way about, um, The Night Circus, too, so I just better be careful, but... I really want to finish The Night Circus because Katie, um, from Katie is Reading, is actually doing, um, her Patreon buddy read is Starless, the Star, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, The Starless Sea, also by Erin Morgenstern, and I wanted to give that book a second chance regardless, so I don't want to read two Erin Morgenstern books in the same month, I don't think, but I'm very excited, I'm very excited, I think, I think it'll be good, so. I have those on the bucket list, and then obviously I have um, Evershore by Brandon Sanderson. I don't need to keep beating that, but uh, I'm going to tell you again. It's the third novella in the Skyward series. Um, yeah, I need to finish that. I'm definitely finishing that this coming weekend because I need to, because um, the the fourth book is coming out on the 21st, and I'm not above DNFing <laughs> this little novella just so I can read that one. And I know that I'm going to read it. Like, as soon as it gets here, on the day it gets here, I'm reading it. I don't even care. So, I also think I'm off that day. I think. I have to look. I think I am, though. Much to think about. Much to decide. I can't remember, but I hope I am. That would be super cool. 21st. What is the 21st? If the 24th is Thursday, oh man, I actually think I work the 21st. I think that's Monday. I would look at my phone. Don't know where she is right now. She's probably somewhere in this mess. But anyways, so. <sighs> I don't know. I guess I don't have the other ones physically. So I guess we're only going to see a stack of three right now, which is fine. I guess I could get that, but I'm not going to pick that up. So these are some of the books you guys can plan on seeing in next week's vlog. Hopefully I can actually get it together and and actually read, actually finish a book. That That is what I should say because like I haven't been lacking in reading. I've been lacking in finishing what I'm reading which is you know it's not a big deal. Like you know what I consider like I consider this a win because if you think about it right I read this 50 pages in one day. I reread um, this 43 pages in, I think it was in a day. It could be wrong, though. I think I might be wrong, actually, but I, even if I didn't, like, that's still 20 pages a day, and then, obviously, this first chapter is probably, like, five pages, so, <laughs> I, I read five pages in one day, but I think, oh, duh, I also finished Crumbs that I'm holding upside down, and I really liked it. I'm glad I read it, um, but yeah. This is my stacky stack. I'm, yeah. I can't say I'm happy with it necessarily because I wish I would have actually finished all of these, but in fact, I've only finished one book. So, that's okay, though. Um, I just want to be on my reading slump, to be honest. That's all I want. So, anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna edit this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like. And if you want to, you can hit the subscribe button. That would be fun, too. Um, and let me know if you guys have read any of these books. Let me know what your favorite book you've read this month so far is. By the time you see this, I think it's going to be, like, it's going to be literally tomorrow. I don't know what I'm saying. It's going to be, like, the end of the month. No, it's going to be tomorrow, the 17th. It's going to be the 17th. It's not the end of the month yet. So I still have time to finish some books before the end of the month. But anyways... And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.
When you're not here, the sun don't shine When you're not near, I don't feel 